Thanks, Tom, for this, for, for posting that up uh, overnight. Uh, more flights between the United States and Portugal, he's telling us here. Looks like we may, keyword, may be getting some more flights between Lisbon and the United States. From For those around Porto, you aren't being left out either. And there's a link over there, uh, GMP VIP. So thank you very much for that. Very thoughtful, Tom Smith. So that's looking a whole lot better, isn't it, for direct flights then to and from the United States? Uh, something Something's happening, isn't it? I mean, that's an indication, I think, of, of Portugal's rising popularity. Another sign is rising property prices. However, are they slowing down? Question from Global Nobles, which I'll put to both of our property uh, pundits here this morning. Carl Hyde from the agency and uh, Veronica, of course, our American in Portugal who helps people move here. Um, and uh, I'm sure you'll have something to say about this. Uh, Veronica, it's been addressed to you in the first instance from the Global Nobles. Are real estate, real estate prices slowing down? Are you seeing any sign of that? Well, I hate to do knee-jerk reactions because they just announced NHR. So we haven't really had time to see how that's going to wash out, you know, getting yeah. rid of NHR. Yeah. Um, I think some of our higher end people are still going to benefit because of, you know, the wealth tax and, and, and things, but it might be more global, a little less the United States, because then we're hearing they're going to be double taxing pensions. So um I think from an American standpoint, I am seeing a little bit of a slowdown in interest. That doesn't mean that our supply and demand issue is countered yet because okay. the supply and demand issue still exists. We still have more people living here and renting here who want to buy than we have the proper places for. Okay. All right. Yeah. And these these are similar themes that uh, we have visited uh, on your monthly appearances here. Right. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the main problem in Portugal is a lack of inventory, isn't it? Um, right. and, and a lack of, of the sorts of houses people want when moving here. But what mm -hmm. I picked up on what you were saying there is you are seeing a little bit of a slowdown or not so much in the prices themselves, but in interest a little bit. Is this the knock on effect of. Uh, a lack of confidence, maybe, that's been caused by some of the more um, obvious political uh, outpourings and effects just recently. Oh, it could be because I'm lazy and haven't put out many videos. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's just Veronica's lack of videos at the moment. So it could just be a lack of marketing. So they're just going somewhere else. And you've got the <laughs> negative ones that, you know, have come out, the bloggers that are doing all the clickbait. And, and um, even some of our friends are trying the clickbait. So maybe they don't want the positive, what's great about it. They want to know. Why does it suck to live here? And I might try one when I'm in. in oh, in I see what you mean. Like, and yeah. go, okay, yeah. is our Americans leaving California? I just left, okay, for a visit. And let's yeah. see if that's what it really is. People just, because more people have come into our blogging world and they're taking the negative approach, is I that see. where we're seeing... Um, oh, okay. So, so your um, your response there is based on a, a very personal one. Is that yep. uh, you're seeing a little, a, a slight drop of interest into your particular intray, your personal intray, yep. and and and, and bi business is down a little bit. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's still useful information. And of course, as you say, yes. there probably we the best hundreds and hundreds of people sending me emails, yep. and now it's slowed down a bit. Okay. All right. Thank you for that clarification. <laughs> and of course, yes, if you want to get the clicks back up, all you need to say, I think, as, as you just suggested there is, I'm leaving. I am. I'm leaving. <laughs> and do a face like that. And then in, in, in about 20 minutes into the video, say, I'm leaving just to visit US for a holiday. <laughs> but I'm coming back again. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> All right. I hate the clickbait stuff. I just want it to be honest yeah. and clean. It's just me and my little camera. I'm not paying a bunch of money for a crew and and AI and everything else to make this perfect thing. It's just me and my freaking little camera. This is what real life is like, guys. Yeah, I, I much prefer that. What about you, Carl? What, are you seeing anything slowing down apart from your no. internet connection? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to do more. Guys, a better connection, don't I? Um, no, no, you're fine now. You're fine now. So actually, I mean, in in the short term, I don't know how it'll affect it long term, but I'm I'm busier than I've ever been. I've never really? been as busy as I am now. Um, more right, and more excellent. people. I, I think it's creating a bit of a rush. Certainly, I've had lots of people looking at rentals. You know, hey, look, I, I want to get in before the end of the year. I'll take anything. Um, I'm not. You know, these people are perhaps not um, planning as they should, and uh, but. Lots of people. Uh, I was in Lisbon last week with um, two different families. 
we're looking for rentals and they're just doing it on the hop like we were planning on coming in april next year or may next year and now they're saying look let's just get in there uh, and get the application process started so that we can hopefully uh, get the nhr so i think it, it will affect things you know but it's as it's as it's brand new and we don't even know you know how it's going to work out yet when the rules will be implemented uh, what new rules will take their place you know because some people um will still be allowed to come here and get some kind of nhr um, um status or, or tax breaks you know for certain certain businesses or certain professions um so i think probably in six months time we'll look we'll a whole lot more but right now the immediate effects um is creating a bit of a rush um and also on property prices i mean i think overall i would say slowing down but not generally overall going negative you know in some places yes it, it sort of stagnated a bit but i think overall if you look at the country as a whole uh, i was reading something a few days ago and prices are still up uh, something like five percent on this time last year so yeah. it, it's it's still steadily increasing so you know uh, as veronica was saying then we all know more than anything here there's a, there's a shortage of properties you know that's not going to go away that's a multi-year plan that's needed to 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 sort of uh, to change that that's probably not going to happen there's always going to be a shortage um and people are, are still looking to come here from not just the us and the uk but i mean brazil you know lots of brazilians coming here and they're also helping to uh, to, to 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 push up prices you know it's a lot of demand there's still a lot of demand very interesting and and Can push always... what yep, he's sure. what what his what the nationality is of most of his clients that he's seeing right now like, are you most, Americans or is it British? I get some from the UK, but most are from the US. Okay, yeah, for sure. You know, mm. well, that, that's just for me within within the agents. That's just me. We have we have agents from all over the world. So you know, depending on sort of where you specialize and where your network is, then you know, we, we have people from Brazil, Germany, places like that, and they're bringing in you know uh, contacts from there. I just happen to be. I mean, I'm not from the US, of course, but just the uh, it's the language thing, you know, it's, it makes me easily relatable, uh, I suppose. Um, yes. And you're good at marketing. Look where you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for your, your, your personal uh, feedback, uh, you know, where you're at um, as professionals uh, with this, with the phenomenon of uh, Portuguese real estate. And Portugal always finds itself in a slightly different you know, we're certainly subjects, aren't we? Of course, uh, as all as all countries are to the, the, the you know the globalized effects of of the world economy, and 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 the, those sorts of phenomena. But there's something about Portugal that doesn't respond in quite the same way as everywhere else. It would seem, you know, it's like in in its particular part in the world pecking order, um, and other factors going on. You know, like the the um, as as Antonio is saying here, you know the um, 400,000 Brazilians, lots of people are interested coming to, to Portugal from, from the, the former colonies as well. There's all sorts of interesting things going on, the relationship with the EU itself. Portugal seems to be a, a, a protected from the worst effects, the most brutal effects of, of global economy, um, economics um, and changes. And, and maybe sort of tucked in into a little slipstream behind the world leaders, the G7, G20 kind of effect. I always um, I will say, and not to sound disparaging, that in a lot of ways, uh, people don't really care about Portugal. And, and yeah. that's to its advantage, you know. You can yes, sort of right. just be sat in the background doing very nicely, enjoying yeah. the nice weather, having the nice food, not attracting a lot of negative, you know, getting involved in other countries' problems and things like this. I don't want to get too deep into that. But... It's just getting along nicely with its own thing and doing its own thing. And I think that's what makes it a nice, safe place to live. You know, it's a big part of it. Yes, well said. It's like, it's yes, it's like it's like a, a school, isn't it? There are kids like that at school, aren't there? You know, there, there's the ob obvious duffers in the class and the, and the spot <laughs> and the job. And then, you know, if you look at a, if you look at a class of kids, you have you have the outstanding ones, don't you? The swats and the nerds. And you have the outstanding ones on track and field, and you know who who are who are outstanding, literally. And then you, there are the, the ones you know. You're glad you're not like them because they're being held back a year, or their parents are giving them hell, or whatever, and they're not doing so well academically. And then there's the ones in the middle, aren't there? Who are only years later. I don't remember that kid, but he was. <laughs> he, there was something now. The quiet, cool kid in the background. That's what. Yeah, that's right. The, the quiet, cool kid. 
is that is Portugal in with that with the the classroom analogy there. Nicely put, Carl. I really like that. Antonio Barbosa is here. Okay. Yeah, quite a cool kid. Uh, bon dia, Gria. Happy Thursday. Tony time from the man in the Mina. So let's have a look then at this uh, lovely, uh, we can salivate here um, with some lovely uh, property that you brought us uh, listed on oh, the agency Christopher. by Christopher, who you're bringing with you. Be nice to, to hang out with Christopher. Hi, next Christopher. Wednesday. Tell him I Christ said hello, please. He is the coolest, classiest guy ever. I'm so glad he's the team lead. He's great. He's okay, actually. I won't say it's great. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, in, uh, he's actually in uh, Austin, Texas at the minute. They've got the agency oh. annual forum. Let's, have, let's have a quick listen. To, let's get to know Christopher a little bit better here. Which you can use for various purposes, family and friends, or even renting, which is one of the propositions that you have at this very unique property here in Kishkaj. Inside we have French oak floors, wooden kitchen. It's very, very special, very, very unique. And uh, I really recommend that you come and discover it for yourself. 16 solar panels, your own water supply. It's an uh, all rounder, which is uh, quite a rare one nowadays. It's, it's, a, it's a real special one. So come and discover it for yourself this amazing property that we have here. Very good. Love that. Love that place. Veronica, are you okay? You disappeared from the screen. You were choking on tea for a minute. Oh, hold on a minute. I muted you. What is he talking? I love you, Christopher. Don't take that as a bad thing. I just... <laughs> it no, was it was it was the, tea the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Tea done the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's so kidding. many things you could go there. <laughs> right, I can't move on. Bon dia, all. Just back from the garage. Uh, the car needs a heater. Defogger. Fixed. What is a defogger? Oh, is that a demister on there? Okay. Well, Suze, thank you for that insight into life in central Portugal. I hope you're doing okay. And how's Baddy doing? I uh, must drop Baddy a line who's uh, not stranded, but uh, um, in in Iceland at the moment, keeping an eye on volcanic activity really to evacuate. I mean, this is the reality for some people over there at the moment. Um, I'd love to buy something like this, says Doug, responding to the beautiful property there from the agency, fantastic country estate in Kashgaj. Uh, what are my options as a non-resident? Am I going to get bogged down by that dreaded 90-day rule? You must have had this question before, both of you. Carl, would you like to respond to that? Here's somebody from the UK who doesn't want to become a Portuguese resident, but would like to buy that property. They can do that. There's nothing to stop them. You don't have to be a resident to buy property going back no, to you have to be a resident, but yeah, I mean, you'll just have to manage your time carefully, you know, but you know, so you don't fall foul of the, 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 the rules here. And, yeah. and then also the rules in the UK, it's really just about time management, but there's nothing to restrict you from owning uh, uh, buying property, really. Um, and roughly cool. speaking, he, you can be here for three months out of every six, right? And you could you could yeah. follow a kind of uh, swallow, snowbird kind of pattern with that. It's a bit of a drag, but that's, but I know, guess, that's what you're There's a caveat. Doing. If you still on, have yeah. investment money, you can still do gold and visa in other ways. Yes. So you can yeah, still, and yeah. then with that, then you only, you know, you don't have to be here or there any specific time. True. But if you're going to be here more than 90 days, why wouldn't you just get, visa yeah absolutely right and i think more and more people are thinking like that now aren't they you know we we have a, a comment here we have a, a hello from uh, mama lama good morning from virginia Hi, thank you to everyone in america who's listening at this ungodly hour for you uh, and you say all prices uh way out of our retirement budget there and yeah i understand that and of course i think with what's gone on in the last few months people are thinking not necessarily so much about retirement and living on a pension but maybe coming here and living on investment, uh, thinking about investment and coming out of retirement, as it were, as a form of getting residency here in Portugal. I think that's what you were alluding to there, right, Veronica? You can invest in Portugal and get yourself a residency. Yeah, yeah. And I think what she's saying, price is way out of retirement. It's just too expensive to buy. But there is a lot of um, places within the United States that if you sell, so it's not like just a retirement home, if you sell your house, then you can pay cash here. Maybe not a four million, but there's definitely ones one, two, three, and depending on where you want to live. There's places in the country that mm. cost less. There's ours is Villarreal is still the best kept secret down here. You know, yeah, you can two or three hundred, you can still buy a place. There's you know at the beach and the river. It's don't think four million is the only way. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just going to say that. I mean, we, I try to show some nicer or more interesting properties when we come on the show. But I mean, you, you can easily spend, you know, depending on what your requirements are. I mean, you can spend 
in the low hundreds of thousands, depending on where you want to live in the country. And you still get some very, very nice houses for all that money. So, you know, this, this is just a, a small representation of what's available. You know, you, you can, there's a whole spectrum of, of options for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well said. And and I, we I, have I, two I, rentals that just came up at 850 a month. Wow. And they're annual rentals, and one is 18 months, and that's two blocks from the um, river. And then yeah. just, you know, you're, look at that backdrop behind yeah. Veronica there. You can still get a rental for 850. Yeah. So, when well, now that has come very rarely, they just popped up, so it'll might disappear. But yeah, just know if, if, if you are in the right place and, and you're listening, like I threw it out on my newsletter, I'm sure he's got a newsletter. If you can jump, you can do it. You can. It's... Okay, I just need to check. Mrs. Emma, you're on a barefoot broadcast in a minute. Oh, she is. Okay, we got. I, I can't believe it. It's three minutes to ten. We got to go, guys. But there are questions here that need answering. Uh, Mama Lama, I, I hope that comes as some consolation that not all prices might be out of your retirement budget. Keep looking. Keep considering Portugal. Get some help uh, from the folks here. With that, um, I'd love to buy, says Doug. Uh, I'd like to buy something like this. Oh, that we already dealt with that. But you had something else to say, I think, here, Doug. I have recently, there we go, uh, recently sold my late father's property and need a new investment because cash is still pretty useless. We need to talk. Uh, buy that one we've just seen, Doug. Um, I'll live there as a caretaker for you and then welcome you for 90 days every six months. And we'll keep it nice and <laughs> for you. Um, with nine, what's wrong with that plan? My, with 90 days, my retirement, uh, my requirement is easy maintenance. Yes, I can take care of that for you. Um, Ubi's in as well. We've got a question to finish with uh, for you two. Uh, what Carl H said is an important factor for me. Portugal is off the radar as a target for most of the evil in the world, uh, nations and terrorists. Uh, resonating with what you said there, Carl H, earlier on. Look at that, Doug. You saw it, everybody. <laughs> that, that, that's as good as a digital handshake for me as far as I'm concerned. Oh, um, the Portuguese have a fine tradition at Masters of Diplomacy and have stayed mostly safe from foreign invasions. And they've got some great allies on the world stage, including the British, hey, Carl, um, yeah. as well. And a final question. Sorry if I didn't get to your questions this morning. We've got a couple of minutes to go. Mrs. M is literally, as you can see, breathing down my neck and giving me a massage here. Um, questions for the experts. That'll be you, Carl and Veronica. Is there any truth to the rumor that Portugal plans to restrict property purchases to residents only? This is an important question. We'll finish with this today. No foreign purchase unless also a resident. Have you heard anything about this, Carl Hyde, from the agency? No, I, I, I think that's just pure scaremongering. I think that's clickbait videos. Um, yeah. Not heard anything about it. I think it would be a complete disaster for the country as a whole. So yeah. I would say the chance, I mean, I've not got a crystal ball, but I would be completely shocked um, if that was to happen. Uh, yeah. Clickbait scaremongering, I could Stop say. It. Oh, yeah, yeah, just no, stop no, it. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Okay, we don't want that, do we? Um, I've got dad jokes for you as well after Veronica's reply to that uh, question there from Joao de Nord. I just, I, I like to sit back and wait and make sure that it's factual. And yeah. so I would Google that to an actual directorate from the government yeah. or who said it or where it came from, kind of like a snoop in the state. Yeah. Um, you see if it's even real. I, I try not to respond to that stuff. That's yeah, just quite right too. Said well she done. said. Yep. All right. Perfect. And um, let's no just clickbait. no clickbait and no. But no I'm going to those... try it. Stop I'll tell you about those... it next month. You know who you are. Stop doing those faces on your YouTube slides. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, turkey pot pie. My three favorite things. Very naughty. What ends with T and begins with W? Um, oh, so it does, yes, very good. <laughs> and um, going outdoors is easier than going out windows. <laughs> I guess that's true as well. Uh, thank you very much for those dad jokes. And uh, Mama Lama, final word uh, we are retired military, so hope to eventually connect with Veronica too. Yep. Mama Lama, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, and thank yep. you to those of you who've joined us uh, from Veronica's channel. Thanks, Carl Hyde. Thank you, Veronica, American in Portugal. Have a lovely trip, Veronica. And we'll Thank see you. you next time. Thank you, everybody. See you tonight. Yes, to that question about Gilda, she'll be on the Dream Team tonight. I'll see you there. And the Vet Animal Special on uh, the webinar at 7.30 tonight. See you then. Take care.